Queen's Gambit declined, three knights, barman variation. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. Black got the better of white in that game. The opening was balanced. Opening with the Queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. e6 opens up a line for the dark squared bishop and prepares to castle quickly, while preparing to push a pawn to d5 and recapture with a pawn if captured. nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. d5 takes space in the center, attacks the c4 pawn and helps control the e4 square. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. nbd7 develops the knight toward the center, defends the f6 knight and controls the c5 and e5 squares. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. This is the strongest option. It is best. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. It is excellent. This ignores an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. This ignores an opportunity to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is good. This reveals an attack on a bishop. It is good. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. This threatens to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This threatens to kick a knight. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is best. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This misses an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is a mistake. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is best. This misses an opportunity to connect rooks. It is an inaccuracy. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. Black got the better of white in that game. The opening was balanced. 